The Geospatial Environment Online System, or GEO for short, is a best-in-class flight information system. It combines up-to-date live airspace information, a warning and flight restriction system, and a mechanism for authorized users to unlock flight restrictions in certain locations. Our years of operating experience have shown that strict geofencing that disables a drone based on geography alone is the wrong approach for this technology. For example, drones are already being used at airports for everything from technology demonstrations at air shows to training and research to airliner inspections. While we want to help keep drones from interfering with wildfires, we also want firefighters to be able to use this technology to help them do their jobs more efficiently and safely. Our geosystem will help operators make educated, accountable decisions while helping prevent inadvertent operation in locations that raise concerns. The DJI Geosystem is now available free of charge for existing users of compatible DJI drones in Europe and North America and will be available to users in other regions in the near future. The system will be available through an upgrade of our DJI GO app and drone firmware. The Geosystem includes the following features up-to-date airport location information, live information on temporary flight restrictions, such as forest fires and other emergencies, major stadium events, VIP travel, and other changing circumstances. The Geosystem will also include, for the first time, restrictions around locations such as prisons, power plants, and other sensitive areas. The Geosystem is able to differentiate between four types of flight zones and react accordingly. First, our warning zone. When your drone approaches or takes off within a warning zone, GEO will let you know that there may be a concern about operating in this location. Locations that raise general safety or security concerns, but where drones can be operated by authorized users, are called authorization zones. When approaching or taking off within an authorization zone, users will be prompted to unlock the zone if they are authorized to fly there. Verification is easy. It just requires a single credential, such as a credit card or a mobile phone number that can receive a text message code. DJI does not collect or store this information. An enhanced warning zone is unlocked the same way as an authorization zone, but an internet connection and verified account are not needed. The last type of zone is called a restricted zone, and it reflects places where civilian drones are generally not permitted to operate. When the geosystem senses that it is within a restricted zone, the aircraft will not take off and will stop and hover if it is already in flight heading toward the zone. Users who are planning to fly in locations without internet access will be able to unlock an authorization zone in advance using the online flight planner. The geosystem is provided as guidance to drone operators. Always check official sources and the laws and regulations that may apply to your flight. We believe this major upgrade to our geofencing system will do even more to help operators understand their local flight environment and to make smart, educated decisions about where and when to fly their drones.